after we play it, I want to talk to you a little bit about it. Okay. Okay? Let's go to Looking for Love with Johnny Lee. get that song? I found that song in a cardboard box in a hotel room in Houston, Texas, written by Patty Ryan and Wanda Millett. Uh, Bob Morrison also lent a hand after the song came in. Two school teachers from Gulfport, Mississippi that never had a song recorded before in their life. They got the idea for that song from a classroom of second grade children. Um, and a girl named Becky Shargo, who was a, a music coordinator for the movie The Urban Cowboy, said, we're going to go to this hotel. We, I already did Cherokee Fiddle, but I was going to re-record that. So we've got to find two more songs. And back then, you know, everybody submits their material. You know, there was thousands of cassette tapes in these boxes. And I walked in, I said, oh, Lord. You know, but within the first 15, 20 songs, I pulled a song out called Looking for Love. And I fell in love with the lyrics. Couldn't believe I didn't write it myself because it's the story of my life, you know. So, Changed it up a little bit and recorded it. And how did you get it into the movie? I picked it. I picked that. They, they allowed you to pick the song? Yeah. Okay. Because they already heard Cherokee Fiddle. Irving Azoff and a bunch of people heard Cherokee Fiddle, and they wanted me to redo that. So Charlie Daniels ended up playing fiddle on Cherokee Fiddle with me 
uh, Michael Martin Murphy, the guy that wrote the song, sang harmony with me. Rosemary Butler, who sang with Jackson Brown, came in and did the girls' part. I'd already recorded that song, and a girl by the name of Tony Jolene that sang at Gillies with me did the original female part, but we redid it. Okay, but I have to go to the break, and after this, we're going to talk to Mickey Gilly. Who? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 